Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here with the Motorola Click XT. I'm going to show you guys how to install Super OSR 2.0 for the Click XT. So the first thing you're going to have to do is boot into recovery. Okay, volume down. Alrighty. So uh, this ROM is made by ADLX, and one of the requirements he stated is that you do need the cl uh, Clock Modworks um, recovery. You can flash it through his app that's available on the market. You can find it right on the, the link. Obviously, you also need root. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do wipe data factory, factory reset. And then you're just going to scroll down to yes. And basically it's going to format your data on your phone next thing you want to do is install zip from SD card and over here you want to choose you want to choose uh, the first option which is choose zip from SD card and then I'm going to choose the last one there super OSR Zeppelin 2.0 and then just click install so while this is installing this ROM um, was modified I believe by ADLX um, from the reviews it's getting really positive reviews on it it's running Android 2.3.5 which is gingerbread um, it's really a modification of both Cyanogen Mod 7 as well as ASP sources uh, to make this ROM so right, right now we're just waiting for it to actually finish installing on the phone here. From what I've read also, it's um, my understanding that everything's working properly as it is with Cyanogen Mod 7. So hopefully this will get installed pretty quickly here so you guys can see how it is. I guess while we're waiting, I can also mention that um, ADLX did release uh, an app on the market. It's called, uh, I believe it's called First Recovery um, or Recovery Flash. I'm not 100% sure of the name of the app. I'll have it linked um, with the video. And uh, that will help you install a recovery if you're one of those people with bad blocks. He has an option there that might help you guys. So now that we're done with that, we're going to press the back button. And now we're going to choose the first one up top that says Reboot System Now. And install from SD Complete, rebooting. So the first boot always takes a while. Um, don't get worried if you're here a good you know, couple of minutes just waiting for that first boot ever. Uh, normally that's how it is with these after flashing a brand new ROM. Um, as I was saying, the the app by um, ADLX is actually very helpful for those that are having problems with uh, installing a recovery. Um, you can also use it if you're using the JROD recovery, which is what I provided in uh, my other video for uh, simple root. So now we're just going to play the waiting game here while we wait for it to load up. Yeah, so the first thing you're going to see is the Super OSR logo here and it says uh, by Super Team it's actually an open source ROM that is out there kinda like the Superman logo there, it's pretty cool like I said this is going to take a little while since it is the first time we are booting the system up okay we're back uh, we're here at the um, little Android here, the startup screen, so the first thing you're going to do is test the Android to begin and um, we already have an, a Google account so I'm just going to log in with mine uh, hold on one second
Alrighty. And now we're going to sign in. Uh, oh, I have to change the APN settings, so this isn't going to work. Let's go to wireless settings. Access point names. Yeah. New APN. Let me just make a quick one here. Um, for most people shouldn't have this issue. So I'm not no longer with T-Mobile, so I have to change my APN settings and should get me back to having wonderful edge. Um, there we go. So back with edge there and we're signing in. All right, can establish a reliable connection. That's totally fine. Mm. Most people shouldn't have this issue. Let me see if I can. Mm. Normally they let you be able to access Wi-Fi, but for some weird reason, I'm not able to access Wi-Fi. We're just gonna skip that for now. All right, apologize for that. Um, just gonna close that down for a minute there. So this is your uh, boot up screen. Um, basically it's running a special launcher here. And um, it's, I honestly it feels to be one of the snappier uh, ROMs I've actually used on this phone. So that's really nice actually. You have your drop down menu here. And you know, you have your basic options there. So I'm actually going to turn on the Wi Fi now. Settings. As you can see, it actually has um, your uh, menu icons have been modified uh, with colors. So I'm going to go to wireless networks. Wi-Fi settings, turn on Wi-Fi. And then we'll be rolling with quick internet here. Log into Mastermind. Let me type in the password here. Alrighty, so we're we're logged in with Wi-Fi, so we're ready to roll. Um, as you can see, this pretty much comes with everything you could think of. You have your browser, calculator, calendar, your camera, clock, contacts, uh, Gmail, your market. So all your Google apps are already pre-installed here. Um, even has Torch, which is one of my little favorite apps for this phone which turns on the flash as like a flashlight. Um, let's load up the phone app here so you can see how that works. As you can see it's your standard uh, vanilla phone so I can do a phone call. Let's not do 611. As you can see, sounds working just fine. Um, we can do speaker. For English, press one. But I find it. And let's end our call here. Um, we also have the market. I have to add my Google account. Um, we'll sign in. Okay. One second while we do that real quick.
All right, so we're signed into Google here. And sure, back up our data. Finish setup. And we accept. But now we're just waiting for it to load. So right now it has the old market. Uh, when I had when I was running this ROM before, um, I had the newer market or automatically download the newer market uh, once it's there. The ROM also comes with ROM statistics. Um, it's nice if you guys enable that. That way the developers know who is using and not using their phone. So I said enable that. As you can see now it's syncing. I probably couldn't see it. But yeah, you have the little syncing icon right there. And this... Uh, this screen's pretty nice here. It's, uh, you know, it's very nice, for lack of a better word to say for it. Um, obviously, you have your updates, and we have all our apps here. I can, as usual, I usually load up a Google Maps. So let's load that up. As you can see, there are extra animations. As you can, there's a blue outline around the boxes there. And there's definitely a lot of more animation and colors to the ROM. And let's see. So waiting for location. It's probably going to take a little while. But OK, my location within 40 meters. So I found where I am. I know that's not my address, so that's fine. As you can see, pinch to zoom does work. But now it's a little slower just because we are syncing with uh, Gmail with everything. Um, let's load up the browser here. And that works pretty well too. So that's really just a quick preview of of Super OSR 2.0 for the Click XT. Uh, personally, haven't used this ROM for a few days now. I can definitely say it is very stable and it's actually a really great ROM. I guess before I go, I'll show you guys that the camera also does work very well. Um, I personally like this ROM right now. Um, it's fast, it's clean, and it's just pretty much what everybody wants for a Click XT ROM. So let's load up the camera. I'm looking at something black so that's not very helpful but let's see it takes pictures just fine. Took a picture of the table here. So camera works fine, everything seems to work fine, I haven't had any issues so far. So overall this is a good ROM and I highly recommend it. This is Mastermind 278 with the Motorola Click XT and have a great day.